Hey guys, Drifter here. Today we are going to unlock and unbox this massive crate that I got a couple of days ago from Activision. It came with a note that told me at noon today I can text a certain number to get a key for the keypad and unbox it for what I assume to be a Black Ops 5 teaser or starting point to reveal or something like that. I just texted the number. I just got the code, which is 30 right, 00, zero left, 14 right. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to unlock it. Okay, 30. All the way around, zero again. There we go, she was right the whole time. All right, well the lock is off. So let's pick up the latch here. And let's see what's inside. This is my first time seeing it too. <gasps> what I always wanted, decorative straw. Uh, we have a note that says confidential. So I'm probably gonna take a little peep at this note off camera. It's got an old school thing here. Um, oh boy, this just got hard. Uh, recipient embedded field agent summary of contents. There, these are top secret documents containing compartmentalized information essential to national security. You are requested to immediately distribute the provided intelligence to your operatives in the field. These materials are to be used in the investigation of site redacted in the Ural Mountains, which is Russia. Uh, redacted, please ensure that your package contains the documents listed in the column marked manifest. You will also be supplied a projector to aid in distributing the materials. Oh God. Um, so the manifest here is a giant set of codes, which I suppose I will need to provide online or do some solving on my own because that looks pretty busy. Uh, and it says, here's an interesting one. We have check marks. We're missing some checks here. So some of these it says we kind of don't have. Uh, so let's go ahead and see what's under the decorative straw. Oh my God, there's a lot of this. They love my vacuum cleaner. Was that an abacus down there? Well, this is like the messiest thing I've ever unboxed. Okay, so first thing we've got are, these are literally slides. These are slides, I don't know what's on them. It's a little hard to see. This one looks like a crosshairs. Uh, so these are like old school projector slides, like some of you might still be using in schools. Um, and oh boy, I'm trying to keep the hay out of my projector. It's the hay is already in the projector, but this is an actual projector in this box. Let me see if I can get it out. <sighs> Oh man, there is so much hay in the projector. Yep, this is an old school like 1960s, 1950s slide projector. If you went to public school any time in the last couple of decades or you've been to college, you've probably seen these things. God, I hope that doesn't screw it up. There's just so much hair. And it looks like we have the slide projector still player here. Okay. Okay. Now, where does this bad girl plug in at? That's a better question. So slide number one looks like the generic starting slide of almost every presentation from the 1950s era. There's pretty much nothing special going on there. My lovely wife, Jessica, is running the projector. Let's go to slide number two. Okay, so slide number two, now that I've got it turned around, is... Uh, some kind of clock code, some sort of uh, timer here, if I'm not mistaken. I'm not, I assume this is part of a much bigger cipher and I'll have, I'm going to have clearer pictures of the entire presentation at the end of the video so that you can all piece it together more easily. And I'm missing some pieces as well, but this is clearly some kind of clock and I bet that there are some numbers elsewhere that correspond to a time, like perhaps a launch trailer. Slide number three is more of the same some type of cipher that I, I assume is, is based on clock time here. Uh, the symbol's different. We have a half and half down here. 
Again, I'll have pictures of all of these. I don't know what this means, but let's continue. Okay. Uh, more ciphers. This time we have a whole circle that's blue. What that means, I couldn't tell you. So let's continue. Uh, uh, blue with a dot and another time cipher. Uh, I. Uh, this is going to take a little while to actually solve. We're going to have to get some community. Hello. Um, okay, so this is a map of Eastern Europe, I want to say. Because this should be Mediterranean, and this, this place here is marked as site number one, like a black site or a dark site. Uh, so whatever this is geographically, which I'll definitely have to Google later, will reveal something, I believe. Let's move on and see what the next slide has for us. Oh boy, now this one's red. No idea. Oh, this looks like a map. This looks like a top-down map, like an in-game screenshot. This is Warzone. Yeah, yeah, this is Warzone. You can see... Um, you can actually see the red on the edge of the map here. And this actually looks like a bunker entrance to me. Uh, there's a line pointing to the lake here. So it says, is this the dam? Yeah, this is, I think this might be the, is this the dam? So if that's the dam, then that's the underground. Uh, we're going to have to locate this region in... War zone. I don't know exactly where it is, but we will find it, I promise you. All right, let's see what the next slide brings us. Uh, boy. That's a lot. Um, yep, don't know what any of that is. I feel like I'm taking an eye test, perhaps. You're going to have to get... The zombies guys on top of solving all this. Another very similar code cipher. The dots in a different Yeah, the dots in a different place. Another one of these. Wait, what letter is that dot on? There's no specific letter. Is that it? That's it. Okay, so here at the end of the video, what I'm going to do is take the highest quality images of my slideshow presentation and make them publicly available for all of you so that hopefully we can solve this Easter egg together.